Buenos dias. Don't forget safe practices, wear your mask. You always, especially when you're leaving the confines of your home, you wear your mask covering your nose and your mouth. If it is a disposable mask, remember when you're taking it out, use the handles, okay? If you're finished using your not going out again, wash it in soap and water, all right? If you're using it, going back out again, notice how I did it. My hands are not touching here, all right? Social distancing, always wash your hands with soap and water. So we are in the month of May. Notice I'm wearing my blue, right? I'm wearing my Marian jersey. And we remember the month of May. Remember in school, we used to have our Marian devotions and everybody will bring a flower. So what we are going to learn to do is make a simple flower, a simple rose. Nothing is more pure than a rose, right? Now, anytime somebody gets a rose, it always puts a smile on your face, right? And for our Marian devotion, we bring roses. And one of these reasons why we bring roses, it is said that when Mary visits, there's always a sweet smell associated with that with a rose. Now, I'm quite aware, too, that resources may not be available to you. However, we have things at home that we can use. So let's see what I am showing you. Right, so we are just looking at making a rose, right? And you could do, right? From your home, you could make roses, right? To bring in that, that feeling of, of celestial being. They're saying that when Mary appears, right? And miracles happen, there's always a sweet smell. So I want to encourage you to invoke that sweet smell with your family. Those of you who are Catholic, say the rosary. And for the month of May, how about making some roses, some white roses? We want purity in our home right as a symbol the normally as a class or school we would go together and we would say the rosary and bring a flower how about you do with your family right you say the rosary and you have your rose so there's nothing more beautiful than seeing a rose a white rose, a symbol of purity. It's so simple, so swell, so, so small. Mary is also known as the mystical rose without thorns, Our Lady. So we can use just about three blocks of tissue paper. As you know, it would be toilet paper, right? So you take your paper, right so this is your blocks of toilet paper you can go with three or four i have three here you fold it in half like this fold make sure the fold line is on top fold it again so you fold it in half from the top then from the sides fold it in half fold it again fold it again until it's the size of your thumb okay remember the fold line this is the part that you're not going to cut, okay? So, good. So on this side, you will take it and make that small curve, right? So you're leaving that little space below. This is the fold line here. So let me see if I can draw it out here for you to see. Right? So here we have a simple petal. I'm showing it to you like that. This is your fold line below. And all we need is a little bit of green piece of paper, right? Remember how we made our leaves. The fold line is on the half here and we make an elongated C, right? I am using a straw for the stem. You might have anything else. We just need a strip of green paper, which you can color if you don't have green paper. All right. So here we cut out, we cut out this. When we cut out this, we are going to get that, right? Notice this is our fold line here. 
you take the flower that you cut, right? And you wrap it around your straw. When you wrap it around the straw, take your time, you will actually see the petals starting to fold up. Now, if you want it really, really thick, you don't have to use four blocks, eh? You can add more to it, right? And when you wrap it, you can clump it like this. Clump it. As you clump it, the more you clump it, the bigger your rose will become. All right? Right? So you do wrap this around. Well, I use a straw. And then you wrap your green around it together with your leaf. Right? Complete. Okay? So normally in school, we would have our little procession and you'll bring a flower. Hopefully when we are able to do that again, some of you may not have roses, but you know how to make a rose. All right. So I urge you for this month of May, you say your rosary with your family. Prayer is very, very important too. And those of you, you would remember we had our little processions make a flower, make a rose and put it down, right? Remember that time when we as a school body, we prayed together, right? And we offered all our prayers to Our Lady, right? For her to intercede for us. We want um, safety and protection for our family, our friends. We want mercy on all those people who got COVID, you know, we want we want this COVID to leave our country, leave our land, leave our world. We want also to be able to move freely, right? Even though we are adjusting with this new normal, we want God to guide us and be merciful with us, with our families, our friends, our country, right? We want all the people of our land. We want to bring back things, not bring back things, but we want things to become better. All right, and we want the wisdom to know how to do it. All right, girls. So I look forward to seeing your rose. Some of you, you can be creative with it, right? Um, you can make one, you can make more than one, right? One of the things that is done, which we didn't do in school, is that they'd have a, a statue of Our Lady, especially for the month of May, and when we're doing devotions, they'll make a crown of roses to her, right? You can do that if you want to. All right, but I want to see you make a rose. So one day when we come back out again, you at least know how to make a rose. Okay, so safe practices. Notice how I'm holding it, All right? I never hold the front. I make sure it's over my nose, my mouth, and around my ears. Adios.